Hi, my name is Ben Sandri, and I would like to share with you our geoman story. Well, where to begin? I live in a small village in Hungary with my wife Esther and our two years old daughter Biborka, who was diagnosed with GM1 type 1 early infantile at the age of seven months. But let's start at the beginning. Biborka was born on the 11th of July in 2020. This day was the best day in our life. She was so cute, everything went well, nothing bad happened, so she could come home with us after a few days. Although she was diagnosed with clubfoot, Everybody was telling that she would grow out of it. Let's just do some exercises. She was a very calm baby. She did not cry much. She slept a lot. She had a little edema on her eyes, but they said it is not a big problem. We went to the hearing test with her, but she did not pass it until after the fourth try. Maybe this was the first sign of the disease that she is not hearing well, but at that time no one noticed. Days and weeks passed and we noticed that Biborka's reaction to the outside world was not like children her age. She didn't pay attention, didn't react to sounds and couldn't lift her head up. Everyone told us that we shouldn't worry about it too much because every single baby's development is different. We went to a physiotherapy called Davey Method where our physiotherapist diagnosed her with a strong hypotonia but she said it can be treated. But sadly, the results showed two specific GLB-1 gene mutations, and at the age of seven months old, Biborka got her diagnosis. At this age, she was well and stable. She slowly improved, she started to move her head better, she played a lot, we had so much fun together. We think that the Davian physiotherapy was helping her a lot, and we did this three times a week. Biborka's development plateaued at the age of one, and then she started to regress. At first we noticed that she did not move her hands and legs that much. She was not following the pictures we showed her as she did before. Also, she had more problems with feeding. It was a really slow regression and we realized that this is not going to stop. At the age of 15 months, she caught an infection and we needed to go to the hospital with her. And this is when the GM1 really started to show itself. She was very ill, she was intubated for weeks, she beat three pneumonias and she had her G-tube surgery as well because it was hard for her to swallow. After a very long two months in the hospital, she made it through and she could come home with us. We needed to learn how to care for her, how to use the G-tube, how to dose her medicines, how to move her from one place to another and so on. She needs 24 hour care every single day of the week. It is not easy, but we love her so much she could make us the happiest person in the world with a single smile. You know, living in this situation, living with GM1 is really hard. It affects your whole life, your emotional state, your marriage, your work, everything. Every day is different. Sometimes we are so depressed that we don't want to meet anyone, but sometimes there are happy days. Mostly when Biborka is well, when she smiles or when nothing bad happens. Those are the good days. But yes, sometimes it is really frustrating. Sometimes she has breathing issues and seizures or just cries because of pain. As a parent, this is the worst feeling ever, that sometimes you just can't do anything to help her. At the moment, Biborka is two years old. She slowly regresses. We created a foundation for her and thanks to the good building people's donations, we could buy her professional equipment like a special bed, bathtub, pram, proper monitoring system to see her blood oxygen level, heart rate and her wall status and other useful kits to improve her life. Sadly, we cannot move her anywhere far from home, maximum in the backyard because there is a chance for a bad thing to happen every single day. We don't know what the next day or the next hour brings. We don't know how much time we still have with our daughter, but we want to use every moment with her. Live for today is what we follow. Our greatest fear is that she will have more pain as the disease progresses and we will lose her too soon. But at the moment she is stable and that is all that matters. We really hope that there will be a cure in the future to this horrible disease and no other family needs to suffer. There must be a solution. Thank you very much.